Stony Gate is a detached house situated at Raymond's Hill on the outskirts of Axminster. It lies on a 1.4 acre plot of virtually level land. A gated driveway leads through to a gravel turning circle and parking for several vehicles. The house is set back from the road with a front garden and mature hedge to screen the house off from the A35. At the front of the house is a double glazed front door and a veranda with outside lighting. Inside, the house has solid walnut parquet flooring with underfloor insulation and has centrally heated radiators throughout. It has high ceilings and original plaster cornicing. The rooms are set around a central hallway which is 15 foot 8 inches by 8 foot. The living room is 22 foot 5 inches by 14 foot 8 at its maximum and has bespoke wooden double glazed French doors that open to the front garden. It has UPVC windows to the front and side and a fireplace fitted with malt fuel stove. The kitchen is fitted with a bespoke solid birch of range of wool and base units with quartz work surfaces and a one and a half ball sink unit and drainer. It has a smeg five ring induction range cooker with an elm beam lintel above. It also has a smeg dishwasher and integrated fridge freezer. At the back of the kitchen there are bespoke double French doors leading to a patio and offering a lovely outlook across the large garden. There is also a door to the rear lobby which is a handy space for coats and shoes and has an external door leading to the garage and parking area. Next is the utility room which is only 8 foot 11 by 6 foot 7 inches. It houses the new pressurised hot water cylinder and has a UPVC window to the rear. There is space for a washing machine and is fitted with wall and base units and a ceramic sink. There is a trapdoor in the mosaic tiled flooring allowing access to the pipework. It also accommodates a Victorian style high level flush toilet with a window and ceramic full tiles. The out room or office is 12 foot 4 inches by 12 foot and has UPVC windows at the rear and side. It features a Belfast sink and an unused brick fireplace. It also has a beautiful view of the back garden from the window. The dining room, including the bay window, measures 17 foot 3 inches by 12 foot 5. It also has an unused fireplace. On the first floor are four bedrooms, two bathrooms and a spacious bright landing with wooden double glazed window at the back and a linen cupboard. Bedroom 1 is 15 foot 10 inches by 11 foot and has a dual aspect with UPVC window to the side and a dormer at the front. It has built in wardrobes with additional storage and a loft hatch. The ensuite bathroom has a wooden double glazed window to the rear and is fitted with a white corner bath, toilet and wash hand basin which is set into a base unit with drawers and cupboards beneath. It has full wall tiling, an extractor fan and two chrome ladder style radiators. Bedroom 2 measures 13 foot 6 inches by 12 foot 11 with dual aspect windows. It features built in wardrobes and large storage areas but is currently far too girly and gothic for Jim's liking. Bedroom 3 is 11 foot 9 inches by 10 foot 4 and has a wooden rear facing double glazed window, a built in wardrobe. Bedroom 4 is 8 foot 3 inches by 8 foot 5 and has a front facing UPVC window and a radiator. It features some built in shelving and a raised bed. It also has a large storage area in the east which has been turned into a farm children's den. The shower room has a white suite comprising of a tiled shower cubicle, a toilet, wall mounted wash and basin with shaver point and an extractor fan. It also has vinyl floor tiles and a chromada style radiator with a wooden double glazed window at the rear. Outside, there is a detached garage and workshop which could be converted to annexed accommodation subject to consent. In addition, it boasts a wash hand basin and a gardener's loo. Next to the garage, there is a 20 foot long greenhouse. There is also an external office or garden studio connected with internet cable and power. 
Next to this, there is a metal garden shed and a large wood store. The 1.4 acres of garden contain a range of deciduous tree species. These include a variety of apple trees, cherries, liquid amber, Indian bee, jack and monte eye birch, magnolias, philadelphus and rhododendrons. The outside also offers a fully enclosed kitchen garden. A tap and external socket has been laid to the far end of the garden, with an additional socket about halfway along the western boundary hedge. The woodland at the back is swathed in bluebells in May and is a haven for wildlife, including a huge variety of birds. Being away from the light pollution of towns, the garden is also great for stargazing at night. Additional information under the previous ownership the house has undergone a large program of updates and improvements, including external installation of a new oil-fired boiler for central heating and hot water in 2020, a new hot water tank, chimney lining for wood-burning stove, underfloor insulation in many rooms, staircase renovation, wall panelling, walnut parquet flooring, New roofs on the three dormers, new internal doors upstairs, new showers, kitchen refit, new wall carpets fitted upstairs, except in the master bedroom, and redecoration throughout. Raymond's Hill is a settlement just over two miles from the town of Axminster and lies in East Devon close to the border of Dorset. The area is well placed for access to the coast at Lyme Regis, about 3 miles to the south, and Charmouth just over 3 miles to the east. Axminster is an old market town. It's situated on the River Axe in East Devon and has train services direct to London, Waterloo and Exeter. The surrounding area has been designated as being of outstanding natural beauty and the popular seaside resort of Lyme Regis is only a mere four miles to the south. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for watching. watching.